what is up guys mario here and welcome back to another video in today's video we're going to be installing some coilovers on the nissan 350z but before i start this video i'm gonna give you guys a rundown on what's been happening with the car i haven't been posting as much updates so i'm gonna get you guys up to speed on what's been going on first things first i did get the car tinted all around five percent gives it a better look and of course, I had to throw some wheels on. So the wheels are on the car. Kind of giving my sauce a little bit. And if you guys are new to the channel, this is my Nissan 350Z. The mods that I have on it is a Motordyne exhaust, a Grady single tip, and some intakes. That's all that's done to the car. The car is a manual, six speed, DE so yeah that's pretty much it so with that being said I'm gonna pull the car into the shop get the wheels off and start installing the coilovers the rear of the car already have coilovers so I'm just gonna be switching out the front ones and it shouldn't be that hard I also have to remove the studs from the the hub so so we're gonna bring the car in the shop and install the coilovers and install the new studs let's get right into it Alright guys, so these are the coilovers I'm going to be installing in the V today. As you can see, they're from Max Speed and Rods. So, shout out to Max Speed and Rods for getting me these coilovers at a good deal. Hopefully, they ride as good as it should. Alright, let's get a quick unboxing done. So these are the coilovers. This is the front. And this is the rear. I won't be installing the rear because the rears already have coilovers in it, as I said before. So the fronts are gonna be the only one I'm gonna be installing today. But overall, it feels like a good coilover. It's very sturdy and um, the presentation is good. So I'm gonna throw them in the car and see how they perform. I'm gonna throw them in and see where it gets us. It's already maxed out, so we'll see how it looks when I throw it in the car. Let's just jump right into it. Alright guys, so first thing I gotta do is get these studs out. They're extended and I'm not running the spacer, so that is a no good. I'm gonna get these studs out on both sides and then I'm um, gonna start the coilovers. So this is the old shock absorber and spring set. I believe there's a few bolts up top engine bay somewhere off here I'm probably gonna have to remove this and there's a single bolt right here that I gotta get off so let's get to it guys so got the brake caliper off and the rotor now I gotta get a hammer and knock these studs out there's a little slit right here I don't know if you guys can really see it 
there's a slit you line it up with it hit it out and keep rotating hit it out and then i'll do that with all the studs and then i should be good put the new ones in press them in and i'll be good so let's hammer these out and put the coilovers in i'll update you guys every so often so let's get it Alright, so the studs are out. These are the old ones. I mean, you could tell they're new, but they're just extended and I don't need that. So we had to get rid of those and put in some OEM studs in there. So studs are out. Now I'm gonna put the coilovers in and then put the new studs in. Alright guys, so first thing I have to do to get remove the coilovers is I gotta remove the strut bar right here. There's four bolts holding it in place. One right there, one right there, one right there. And here, lift this off. And as you can see, I might have to get to those bolts over there. So that bolt right there, that bolt, and there's another one underneath the strut tower bar. So I'm gonna remove the strut tower bar and remove the top three bolts for the coilovers. And then as I said before, there's a single bolt there's a single bolt right there that I need to get off and then the whole assembly could come right off. Don't forget to remove all those wires and stuff. got the first coil over in now I'm gonna do the other side and put the new wheel studs in so let's do the other side and put them studs in a few moments later all right guys so just like every other job that you do on a car we ran into some problems let me show you guys what's happening so this whole assembly with the control arms and the spindle and everything it wasn't coming down so what i had to do i had to loosen up the sway bar and loosen up the control arm see the bolts right there the control arm and um that's how i got the whole suspension to fall down that way i could take the whole the old assembly out and put the new coil over it then so that's what i had to do still not finished yet we've got to dial in fitment get these studs in and um we should be all set so i'm gonna give you guys another update in a minute one eternity later all right guys so i'm dialing in the fitment right now i just adjusted this side to the fitment that i want and i think i could work with this the fitment on this side is good kind of like how it's sitting but for the other side the other side is sitting a little bit too low this side is a little bit too low kind of have like a fender to lip type fitment going on right now fit two fingers from the rim to the fender so yeah i'm gonna have to raise this side up a little bit and i think i should be good i like how it's sitting right now on this side so i'm gonna get this side over here looking like this side over here so show the difference i could fit three fingers so i'm gonna raise it up about an inch on the other side and then i should be good yeah that's all it's sitting right now i'm gonna give you guys an update when i'm finished so let's put you guys on a time lapse and show you the finished product
All right, let's lower the car and see where it's at. So this is how the car is sitting in the front, not too shabby. And the rear is not too shabby either. It's not a fender to lip fitment, but it's good enough for right now. Ooh, this angle right here shows how beautiful it looks. The fitment is literally perfect. Not too low, not too high. Definitely could work with it. I'm gonna finish putting the strut tower bar on and I should be all set for the day. And then other news, we have Gerald's Corvette over here. It's now pro-charged. Looking clean, got some new headlights and a lot more mods. So I'm gonna be showing you guys a review of this car and a different video show you all that's been happening with it what he has done to it since recently and how much power it makes stuff like that so i'll definitely be showing you guys what's up with this car so that's probably going to be it for the night i got the coilovers installed with the new studs and i'm loving the fitment the video is not doing it justice right now but it's the perfect fitment it looks good. Yes, sir. But that's probably gonna be it for this video. I hope you guys liked the video. Make sure you leave a like, a comment, and make sure you subscribe. Turn that post notification on so that you can see whenever I upload a video. In that case, I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one. Peace.